Hey, Friendship Three Strand Small Groups. I'm so glad you guys are meeting and I'm glad you are there. I am super pumped about this new book that we are going through. Uh, for small groups this year, we're gonna do these short little videos of the flyover of what we're talking about on Wednesday nights. Um, and so I am, if you wanna dig deeper into this section, come on Wednesdays. We're gonna learn and we're gonna dig more deeper. We're gonna help you to grow in your faith a lot more. But I am super pumped for this because the Gospel of John is a letter, is a book that points you to Jesus to help you understand who he is. But this letter of First John is written to Christians to help them help uh, continue to live out the life that Jesus has called us to live. And so we're going to cover some major topics uh, throughout this year. We're going to talk about how critical it is to love each other. We're going to talk about how you can know 100% that you are saved. We're going to talk about if you mess up, what do I do to get back on track? We're going to talk about God's love and forgiveness and how God is light and there's no darkness. And what does even that, what does all that even mean? Like we're going to get into a lot of these topics. So I'm super excited uh, to go through the book of First John with you. And so let's jump right in. We're going to read out of First John chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. If you have your Bibles, get those out, read it along with me. Okay? Chapter 1, verse 1. That which was from the beginning which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and had touched with our hands, concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us and indeed our fellowship with the Father and with his son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. Now, I am super uh, excited for this, okay? The big idea behind this, the big idea behind this first section is simply this. Know, what you, or know who you trust and know what you believe. Know who you trust and know what you believe, okay? This is essentially what John is trying to tell us here. He's trying to say, you can trust me because I was there. I saw him. I experienced it. I saw the miracles. I, I touched him. I heard him. I was there. These other people who are leading you astray, these Gnostics that are coming in, they were not there. I'm an eyewitness, and you can trust my account because I was there. That's what he's trying to tell them, trying to get them to understand. Know who it is you trust. What You, you guys get so much thrown at you. Uh, every from every direction and you got to know am I going to trust this or am I going to trust that am I going to believe them or am I going to believe that you got to know who you trust and what you believe okay and so John is trying to tell them this he's saying trust me I've been there but then he goes on and he says we get to have fellowship with one another this is a this is a big word um, and we're gonna we're gonna discuss it a little bit and get into it even more on Wednesday night but what does this word fellowship mean? John is telling us we have fellowship with God and we have fellowship with one another. And so we are all kind of like a big family together, living, encouraging, supporting, being there, doing life together, like what you guys are doing with small groups, having fellowship with one another. And so we get to do that. It's one of the amazing things that we get to do. And we're going to dig way deeper into what that actually means on Wednesday. Okay. But then he, he concludes all of this. He finishes it up with the result of this fellowship. Because we live together, we do life together, what is the result of that? And he says, it's joy. It is pure joy. He says, I want us to have fellowship. I'm writing all these things to you. This book is written for you so that our joy may be complete, that we can have this joy together because of our fellowship with God. And so uh, I, I got three questions for you guys, and I'm going to put them in the description and I'll send them to your leaders too if you guys miss this. But uh, three questions for you guys to go over to think about in your small groups of uh, discussion, okay? So question number one, describe one of your favorite memories that you have based off of your senses. So the things that you saw, the things that you touched, the things that you heard, kind of like what John is describing to his readers. He's saying, I was there. I experienced it. All these senses. And he's bringing these memories back from his senses. So describe in your groups one of your favorite memories by trying to only just use your 
senses, the things that you saw, the describe, uh, describe how you did all that. Okay. Question number two, what does the word fellowship mean? Uh, we're going to dig much deeper into this, but I want you to look up three verses together uh, in your small groups and then figure out what you learn from those three verses. Ready? Here are the verses. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. And 1 John chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. Look up those three verses together, read them out loud, discuss them, and then see what you can learn about fellowship from those verses. And then finally, question number three. How has God brought joy into your life? How has he brought joy into your life? Discuss that with your group. It might be a great uh, conversation starter uh, to see and to learn maybe a little bit more of things that you didn't know about each other. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday, and I'm glad you guys are here. See you.